Here comes the field for tonight's first race as they pray to the post behind Parade Marshal Kathy McDonald. No changes in tonight's Daily Double One Mitzi Soda owned by Ray Branch, Jack Daly Drives. Two Blitzen Wars owned by Susan Foden, Elliot Deaton. Three Go Mary Joe owned by Wesley Helton with Jody Essig. Four Mileage Unlimited owned by John Tatham. Jeff Fout will be aboard. Five is JL Cinnamon owned by Barbara Porter with Al Jones on the bike. Number six, Belinda Wick, leased and driven by Tom Lovely. Seven is Fruey, owned by Jeffrey Cornett and Mike Wilder. Eight, Coniat Connie, owned by Robert Hag Near with Dave Hawk. Nine, Logistics, owned by Ramon Perez with Mark Klotz. Ten, Oya, owned by Beverly Landon. David Miller will be in the sulky. That is the field for tonight's first race. Post time in five minutes. Field for tonight's first race is at the gate and moving through the clubhouse turn. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're often pacing. You got about six levers in here. Mileage Unlimited gets the first call. Go Mary Joe forges in the second. Down the back stretch, Mitzi Soda is in the third. Followed by Belinda Wick driving up on the far outside. Extreme outside, Fruey is fifth. Even further out comes Coniot County up the rail. Blitz and Wars Oya. Followed in ninth by JL Cinnamon and the Gray Trails Logistics. As they move by the opening quarter mile pole, Mileage Unlimited is there in a quick 28 and 1. Racing past the stands of the half mile pole. Wearing the red shadow roll and hood, it's still Mileage Unlimited who leads the way. Go Mary Joe is in there second. Long mile on the outside, Belinda Wick from third. Here's Coney at Coney Eye up on the outside and Mitzi Soto the sixth in box. Logistics is seventh as they make their way through the clubhouse turn. After that, Blitz and Wars got caught in there. Eighth, racing ninth, Fruey. Tenth and last, J.L. Cinnamon. Wide open here as they get a breather in that 32 second. Second quarter up the back stretch. Field is hub to hub, bouncing right along. Mileage unlimited. Belinda Wick parked every step on the outside. Now gets the lead. Nowhere to go for the early pace setter. Go Mary Joe. Losing cover, Coniat Connie. Eye is up on the outside. Mitzi Soda, J.L. Cinnamon chugging wide from the back. Logistics is eighth. Blitz and Wars is ninth. Fruey's tenth on the outside and 129 and three. Around the far turn, Belinda Wick took all the money and she's got a commanding lead. It's Belinda Wick on top. Here's J.L. Cinnamon rolling up on the outside second. Oya's coming back between horses third. It's Belinda Wick, J.L. Cinnamon, Oya toward the rail, go Mary Joe. Deep stretch, it's a rocking chair drive. For Tom Lovely, it's gonna be Belinda Wick, go Mary Joe, and here's the one, Mitzi Soda third. It's first race in a rocking chair drive that would have made Grandma Moses proud. Number six, Belinda Wick, a four-year-old Bay Mare by chairman of the board out of Little Baroness. Least driven and trained by Yellow Springs, Ohio's Tom Lovely. Covering that mile here in a lifetime best, 159 and three. Number six, Belinda Wick, the winner. The 6-3 exactus, $64.80. The trifecta, $524 even. Windows are now up and on tonight's second race. No changes in race two. Post time, a las 7.53. Post time will be 7.53.
Here comes the field for tonight's second race as they parade of the post. Number one is Classy Ain't I, owned by Jim Arledge and John Rhodes Jr., driven by Jeff Fout. Two is Laughmeister, owned by Alan Wood, Sid Savitt, Alan and Elliot Wiesenberg with Dave Rankin. Three is Nevada Gold, owned by the Brittany Farm with Mike Wilder. Four, Great Sam, owned by Donald Lehman and Jim Arledge with Del S. Miller. Number five is Courageous Silk, owned by James Stacy, Donald Hockler. Randy Tharps will be on the bike. Six is Noble Spur, owned by Shakiri Patel and Dean Collins. Seven, Mr. Senator, owned by John Ezo with David Miller. Eight, Toast to the Coast, owned by Fred Schroeder Jr. and Robert Schnoot with Jack Daly. Nine, Cool Ambition, owned by Robert McCurdy, Craig Parker, Dave Hawk will be in the sulky. That is the field for tonight's second race, post time in five minutes. Two-year-old pacing Colts are at the gate and moving through the clubhouse turn. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off fan pacing. The one was off stride at the start. Classy ain't I. For the lead, it's Noble Spur. We have a horse taking a nasty step on the outside. That was the nine. Cool ambition. Dave Hawk did a great job on this, getting this guy back from his nose off the ground to settling in the stride. But he's out of this one as they move midway on the turn. Noble Spur has got the top by about three. Great Sam moves in to be second. Mr. Senator, the late lever in the third, followed by the Laughmeister in fourth. They open up here in a realistic 28 and three fifths. Racing past the stands, the half mile pole. Nevada Gold is next, driving up on the outside. Classy Ain't I, along the rail, Courageous Silk. Tipping and rolling, Toast of the Coast and Cool Ambition with a lot of work to do after that unfortunate break after the start. Around the clubhouse turn. Action brewing from mid-pack. Here's Classy Ain't I. Driving to command on the outside with a big move now. Jeff Feltz got him at the half. In a minute and three-fifths, they're out of the turn and down the back stretch. Classy ain't I on top by a widening four. Noble Spur is in the second, followed by Great Sam in third. Ranging up on the outside from fourth. Mr. Senator, as they move down the back stretch, toast to the coast. Courageous Silk toward the rail. Laughmeister on the far outside. Nevada Gold and Cool Ambition. Racing by three quarters, Classy Ain't I continues to lead the way. Racing by three panels in a quick 129 and one. Driving around the far turn. A little bit rough further back and off stride. Nevada Gold as the field moves to the head of the stretch. Classy Ain't I brings them on home. Noble Spur is in the second. Great Sam, here's Mr. Senator jumping off stride. A little bit of confusion as we're playing bumper horses here with a 16th of a mile of pace. Here comes Dean Collins up the rail, but Noble Spur, he's not good enough. It's classy, ain't I tight for second. Laughmeister might get there. Here comes the unofficial winner of the, first, of the second race, number one, classy, ain't I. Two-year-old Bay Colt by Noble and Sam out of Classic Cup. Owned by Jim Arledge and John Rhodes Jr. Trained by Jim Arledge. Driven tonight by Jeff Fout to a lifetime best here of 159 and three. Number one, Classy Ain't I, the unofficial winner of the first. Two, Laughmeister got up second. Six, Noble Spur was third and four. Great Sam was fourth. Result of tonight's second race is now official. The one, two, exact $187.40. Trifecta 13, 03, 80. 6 1 daily double, the double, $273.80. Windows are now up and on tonight's third race. Superfecta wagering and a field of eight. Post time at 8 12. Her third, Mr. Senator was eighth. Toast of the Coast, sixth. Cool M.
Field four, race three at the gate and moving through the clubhouse turn. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and pacing. Cinder Jig is off stride at the start. He's out of it. Down the back stretch. Silky Price takes the lead. Ranging up on the far outside. Matt Tarts lagged to second. Fouled along the rail by DeMars. Peregrine to third. Pace Master fourth. HP's Nipper is fifth. Sleek Walker is sixth. Followed by Rembrandt's Jeff in seventh. Far back Cinder Jig. Seven lengths apart, quarter bowl bound. Dallas Miller's got the top with Silky Prize. Opening up here in a realistic 28 and a fifth. Superfecta Pacers drive on past the stands. Silky Prize bouncing right along as I wonder some mild tapping to keep to his task. Silky Prize the length, Matt Tart's lag, long shot second. DeMars Peregrine ready to bubble from third. Along the rail, long shot, pace master fourth. Moving up on the outside, HP's Nipper, Sleek Walker's underway with a pretty good trip so far. Rembrandt's Jeff stays in for Mike Wilder. Cinder Jig is still the trailer after that costly break, 59 and 4. Seven are double decker as they straighten out for their long track down the back stretch. Silky Prize trying to get the super effect. The prize leads the way. Here's DeMars Peregrine up on the outside. HP's Nipper, live cover. Matt Tarts lag the stalker. Driving up on the far outside, Sleek Walker into the flow, long shot, Pacemaster far outside, Rembrandt's Jeff, the trailer is Cinder Jig. Real racing starts right now, 128 and 4. They'll pace the turn and come on home. From the outside, DeMars Peregrine, Silky Prize is fighting back. Three deep off cover, HP's Nipper. Sleek Walker can't go on, he's under a left handed whip and is fading badly. Racing through the stretch. It's Silky Prize on top. Far outside, Rembrandt's Jeff. Up the pylons, Matt Tart's lag. Matt Tart's lag now gets the lead. Here comes the field for tonight's fourth race. First of two divisions for the Ohio Sire Stakes. Two-year-old trotting fillies. Fourth leg for 19,501 Rosie's Legend. Owned by Vando Beatty and John Froelich with Robin Miller. Number two is RB Score. Owned by HPS Consulting. RFV the second incorporated with Ed Greeno Jr. Three Pen Pal. Owned by Ruth Altmeyer with Dave Rankin. Four Grand Icon, owned by Jerry Grant. Mike Wilder will be aboard. Five Rachel's Money, owned by the Bolliard Farm of Indiana, and driven by Jeff Bolliard. Number six, Dame Elliott, owned by Peter and Gail McCann, and Robert Peters with Jeff Fout. Seven, She's a Baby, owned by Donald Owen Freeze with Claire Umholtz. Eight, She's a Trotten Jenny, owned by Dorothy Miller, Miller Brothers Stable. David Miller will be in the sulky. Trotters for the fourth, six minutes till post time. 
Starting gate is underway for tonight's fourth race. First of two divisions, Ohio Sire trotting Phillies. Going here in behind starter John Betts for $19,500. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and trotting. Dame Elliott is off stride before the start. The one is on the run. Rosie's legend. Quickly for the lead. Pen Pal and Rachel's money. Nearest the rail. RB score away safely to third. Trotting up on the outside. She's a baby fourth. Grand Icon moves in to be fifth. She's a trotting Jenny. Quickly rallies sixth to off stride. Rosie's legend and Dame Iliad were down to six as they trot by the opening quarter mile pole in 29 and two. In parade past the stands to the half mile pole. Rachel's money trying to get the money again tonight leads well out into the middle of the racetrack. Rachel's money and Jeff Bolliard continue to show their heels to the field. Pen pal the stalker in second RB score third. Along the rail, she's a baby. Fourth, here comes she's a trotting Jenny. Moving up on the outside with that Yogi Berra. It looks like deja vu all over again, Journey. As they move through the paddock turn. After that grand icon, Rosie's legend. Far back, Dame Iliad. In fact, she has pulled up. And they're at the half mile pole. As easy as that in 102 and 3. They're out of the turn and down the back stretch. Rachel's money on top. Here comes she's a trotting Jenny grinding ever so slightly into that lead. Down the back stretch, Pen Pal is in the third. She's a baby live cover. RB score is fifth. After that, Grand Icon, Rosie's legend, Dame Milliard pulled up. Racing by three quarters, Rachel's Bunny will have to face some more challenges now. She's a trotting Jenny at her wheel, disc in second, but Chen she gains some more. Stepping off three quarters at 133. Field swings around the far turn to the head of the stretch. Rachel's money begins to draw clear. Rachel's money on top by five. Pen Pal is second. She's a trotting Jenny doing her best, but it's not good enough. Here's RB score up on the far outside. Yogi, it is deja vu all over again. Rachel's money coast to coast. Pen Pal second, eight. She's a trotting Jenny third. Five three exact at twenty seven dollars and twenty cents. Twenty seven twenty. Post time fourteen minutes away. Eight fifty two. Randy Tharps driving four pocket light. Scratch the nine off the program. Welcoming Gordon and Cheney. Tap down. Rosie's Legend seventh. RB score fifth. Pen Pal second. Grand Icon fourth. Rachel's moneyed was the winner. Dame Iliad pulled up, did not finish. She's a baby. Sixth, she's a trot, and Jenny was third. Seven, five, two, four, one. DNF, six and three in the mile was 202 and one. Folks, speaking about uh, the Hamiltonian here on Saturday afternoon, one of Ohio's own, Chip Noble, will have vaporize in the final going for the Hamiltonian. A lot of rooting interest with the Regals, both Gene and Bruce, and Chip Noble with Vaporize in the Hamiltonian final. Here comes the field for tonight, fifth race, T40 pace. Number one is Critical Success, owned by Kerry Costin, Mitchell Jaffe with Jeff Fout. Number two is Coaching Tina, owned by Greg, Sean, Ellie, Jenny, Kate, Newt, and Scotty Thomas with David Hawk. Three is Our Liking, owned by Larry Morgan, Rangeman Michael Hogan, Jr. Four, Pocket Light, owned by Horner Racing Stables and Robert Kirk, and a driver change to Randy Tharps. 
Five Lake Hills, Jerry owned by Ronald Hughes and Selden Ledford. Mike Wilder will be in the bike. Six Midnight Fame owned by Stan Malott, driven by Jody Essig. Here comes Seven Berkshire Tip owned by Harold Warren and Jack Daly. Eight Myoka owned by Bob Griffith with Jack Morgan. Nine Nibble Sea Flower scratched off the program. Ten Bow Me Over owned by Catherine Ann Shale. David Miller will be in the sulky. Field for tonight's fifth race. Randy Tharps will drive the four. It's the T40 pace in post time in five minutes. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and pacing with a rush on the far outside. A quickly takeover command. That's Lake Hills Jerry. Along the rail, second and challenging pocket light as the field makes their way to the first turn. Driving away on top on the outside, it's Lake Hills Jerry on top by a length and a half. Tucked in there, second pocket light. Length and a half into critical success, third racing fourth. As they move by the opening quarter mile pole in a good 28 and one, it's coaching Tina. They're off that top turn and racing past the stands to the half mile pole. With a rush on the outside, here comes Bomey over to get the lead. It's Bomey over now, moving away on top. Lake Hills, Jerry second, pocket light in third. Critical success, fourth, coaching Tina is fifth. Midnight fame looking for cover, driving up on the outside, Berkshire tip. The newcomer, our liking, and at the end, it's Myoka. Field of 10, well bunched at the half. In 57 and 4, they're out of the turn and down the back stretch. Bomey over on the outside. Lake Hills, Jerry fighting back. Pocket light, the stalker. Critical successes up on the outside. Coaching Tina is now a little bit closer in fifth. Moving up on the outside, Berkshire tip, nowhere to go. Midnight fame, far outside, our liking. Myoka is at the end. Moving by three quarters, moving away on top, it's Lake Hills, Jerry up the rail, pocket light and coaching, Tina, 127 and two. Driving around the far turn, Lake Hills, Jerry begins to get away. Pocket light is second, critical success is up on the outside. Coaching, Tina is cocked, locked and ready to rock and has got absolutely nowhere to go. Mike Wilder is all over, Lake Hills, Jerry, critical success. Berkshire tip is up on the far outside. Deep stretch. Lake Hills, Jerry. Berkshire tip second. Critical success third. Result of race five. Now official. Five, seven exacta. $48 even. First half of the twin trifecta. $1 payoff. $44.70. And here's the winner. Number five, Lake Hills, Jerry. A five-year-old bay mare by Armbro Wolf out of Lake Hills, Bobo by Bobo Arrow, Brennan, Illinois. Now owned in Ohio by Ronald Hughes and Selden Ledford, trained by Selden Ledford. Driven wire to wire by Mike Wilder, covering that mile here in 158 and one. That will equal her lifetime best. Number five, Lake Hills, Jerry, the winner. Post time in 14 minutes, second eighth. Nibble Seaflower was scratched. Bomey over was ninth. Three, five, four, seven, the Ohio Sire Stakes for two-year-old trotting fillies. Another nice purse here. $19,500 in a field of eight and no program changes. Number one, T-Tars Yakety Yak, owned by George Feltner with David Miller. Number two is our Goldie Low, owned by JBC Associates and Charlie Norris. Three is Hello Mamie, owned by Kathy Smith, Warren Holland, Rainsman Jeff Smith. Four Impartial, owned by Wilbur Stowell Lang, David Myers will be aboard. Five, Sweet Sabra, owned by Marvin Gross with David Hawk. Number six is Only a Snip, owned by Martin Scharf with Dave Rankin. Seven is DJ Babe, owned by Jim Arledge with Dallas Miller and eight, Desert Diva. Owned by John Zaremba, Tim Morell, Anthony Caterna. Joe W. Miller will be in the sulky. Trotters for the sixth, post time in six minutes. Field four, race six at the gate and moving through the clubhouse turn.
field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and trotting. Impartial between horses takes the lead. Here comes Sweet Sabra with a rush. Up on the far outside, DJ Babe. These three gals will slug this one out to the first turn. T-Tars, Yakety Yak takes the seat in fourth. Followed by our Goldie Low. Between horses, Hello Mamie. Only a step is up on the outside. And Desert Diva is the trailer. On their way to the quarter mile pole, and the favorite has grabbed the racetrack. It's the fabulous DJ Sports Babe who's got the top. Solid 29 flat past the stands to the half mile pole. Dell S. Miller and Team Arledge looking to strike again. They were murdered during the fair stakes. We'll see if the four to five favorite tonight can last down the front end. DJ Babe trying to make every pull of anyone. Sweet Sabra is stalking in second, followed by Impartial in third. Around the clubhouse turn, T-Tars, Yakety Yak in fourth. Our Goldie low in fifth. Hello Mamie drives up on the outside at the end. It's only a snip and Desert Diva and the Fat Lady has not yet sung. They're at the half in 59 and four. They're out of the turn and down the back stretch. Jeff Smith rolls up on the outside with Hello Mamie. But you'll have to chase down DJ Babe who's got the lead. DJ Babe bouncing along. Item up on the outside, Hello Mamie second. Nowhere to go for the early trot setter, Sweet Sabra in third. After that, Impartial in fourth. Only a snip can't go on. T-Tars, Yakety Yak begins to close. Up the pylons, our Goldie low. Desert Diva wide to the outside, 131. Field moves to the head of the stretch. Bouncing right along, it's still DJ Babe. She put away Hello Mamie. They're inside the final eighth of a mile. DJ Bay brings him home. Here comes Sweet Sabra with a chance down the middle of the racetrack. Wending her way through heavy traffic, impartial. DJ Babe is going to last. DJ Babe, Sweet Sabra, second tight for third. It's the unofficial winner of tonight's sixth race. Number seven, DJ Babe. DJ Babe is a two-year-old Bay Philly by Armbro Iliad out of DJ DG. Owned in Orient by trainer Jim Arledge. Driven tonight by Del S. Miller covering the mile here in 201 and 3 to establish a lifetime best and make it over 45000 in career earnings in just five lifetime starts. Number seven, DJ Babe, the winner of tonight's sixth race. In the winner's circle for the trophy presentation is, hey, Jim Ewart. Jim Ewart for the trophy presentation. Windows are now up and on tonight's seventh race. Seventh race tonight, Jody Essig will drive five around town. Jody Essig driving five around town. Post time at 9.30. Three out of three in the pick three on five, five, and seven. $65.40, $65.40. Exact at 12.80, the try Field for tonight's seventh race, coming out on the track and ready to pray to the post for tonight's seventh race, exact and trifecta wagering. Number one, Classic Cavalier, owned by Frank Palmer with Del S. Miller. Number two is Sealed and Stamped, owned by Philip New with Jack Daly. Three, JB's L. Sid, leased by Ronald Barker with Justin Hall. Number four, Uncle Will Goddard, owned by Francis Hammond with the driver's Keith Haynes. Five is around town, owned by Bob Perry, driver change, Jody Essig. Six, James Owen Tudor, leased by Robert Zink and David Miller. Seven is Clearwater Clint, owned by Michael Grant, along with Ralph Lunsford, eight, C.J. Baker. Owned by Shirley Robinson with Dave Hawk, nine, Grand Mal. 
Owned by Wendell Malone and Mike Wilder, 10, Sir Stoney. Owned by David Stanley, Ryan Holton will be in the sulky. Field for tonight's seventh race, welcoming the East Broad Seniors. Post time in six minutes. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and pacing, sealed and stamped around town, out for the lead. Here comes Clearwater Clint, the late lever is J.B. Zell Sid. Followed by James Owen Tudor, middle of the racetrack, circling up on the far outside, C.J. Baker. Classic Cavalier, can't use the rail, he walks out of there in seventh. Moving midway on the turn, Sir Stoney is eighth, ninth on the outside, Uncle Will Goddard. Tenth and last is Grand Mal, scrambling for the lead to the opening quarter. Driving away on top by about two is Clearwater Clint. They open up here in 29 and 1. Past the stands is Clearwater Clint on top, a length and a half. Around town stalking second, J.B. Zell Sid to third. Past the stands, sealed and stamped in fourth. Moving up on the outside, C.J. Baker underway to the far outside, James Owen Tudor. Classic Cavalier got pinned in along the rail. Here's the big horse. Grand Mal catching the train as they wheel around the clubhouse turn. Back into ninth as they hit the half mile pole, Sir Stoney. Uncle Will Goddard to the tailgate a minute and three fifths. Up the back stretch. Clearwater Clint trying to make every pole of winning one leads the way. Around town on his heels in second, GB's El Said is third. Here's C.J. Baker parked every step in fourth. James Owen Tudor live cover to fifth. Driving up on the far outside, Sir Stoney, he's flying. Nearest the rail, steeled and stamped on the far outside, Grand Mal. Classic Cavalier is ninth, Uncle Will Goddard, tenth, 130 flat. Wide open here as these trifecta pacers move to the head of the stretch. Clearwater Clint with a short lead. Here comes J.B.'s L. Saeed along the rail. Up on the far outside around town, they're into the stretch. Clearwater Clint, J.B. Zell Sid, cocked, locked, and ready to rock, and here comes Justin Hall. It's Clearwater Clint, J.B. Zell Sid, up the rail, gets it. Reminder, folks, first post on Saturday night, live card 7-15. First post Saturday, live card, 7-15. Here's J.B. Zell Sid, seven-year-old black son of Sidney Hill out of Little Lucky. Leased and trained in Chillicothe by Ron Barker, given a well-judged drive by Justin Hall. Getting the passing lane just in time to score in a lifetime best, 159-1. Number three, J.B.'s L. Sid, the winner, post time in 13 minutes. Top down, Classic Cavalier fifth, sealed and stamped ninth. J.B. Zell said the winner, Uncle Will Goddard was a. Part of the final pick three, no changes in the eighth and leading the field of the post is Dallas Miller in one Velvet Siren for the triple bogey stable of Mount Vernon. Number two, he's Ben Bad. Owned by Rhonda Stidham, Linda May with Rocky Stidham. Three, my boy, Scooter, owned by Everett and Fayetta Patrick, and the driver is Jack Daly. Number four, Rafiti, owned by Mr. Z, Jerry Zozel, Dave Hawk will be aboard. Five, Rich Pick, owned by Harry Hart, Randy Tharps in the bike. Six, Dare to Cross, owned by Dana Idens, Ray Gruber with David Miller. Seven, Go Robbie Go, owned by Inga Nemziski, Jody Essig will be in the sulky. No changes in the eighth, six minutes till post time. Field is now in motion, and there they go. 
They're often pacing Rich Pick, middle of the racetrack. My Boy Scooter between horses. Velvet Siren on the rail third. They're down the back stretch. Followed by He's Been Bad. Up on the outside, the big horse Rafiti. Dared across and go, Robbie, go. As they drive to the quarter mile pole, and Randy Tharps has got the top with Rich Pick. Velvet Siren's going to come to the outside. Followed by My Boy Scooter. He'll take the pocket in third. Opening up here in 28 and 3. Velvet Siren on the outside, brushes to the front. Rich Pick starching him pretty good from second. Velvet Siren moves away, Rich Pick second. Followed by My Boy Scooter in third. He's been bad, circles up on the outside. Followed by Rafiti, who was underway. Dared across is now six. Go, Robbie, go. Seventh on the outside. Around the clubhouse, turn of the half mile, Paul. Del S. Miller continues to lead the way with the odds on favorite Velvet Siren, reaching the halfway point in a moderate 58 and 3. They're out of the turn and down the backstretch. Velvet Siren bouncing along. Rich Pick, the stalker. He's been bad, floating out there, uncovered to third. My boy Scooter, fourth. Rafiti's up on the outside. Dare to cross will need some racing room. Go, Robbie, go. Seventh on the far outside. Field moves into three quarters. Velvet Siren with his head down leads the way. Rafiti on the far outside will try to make a race of it in 128 and 3. Moving around the far turn. Velvet Siren, Rich Pick, Rafiti heads apart. Nowhere to go for my boy Scooter. Dare to cross. Looks to come through heavy traffic as the field straightens away. Out on top, it's Velvet Siren, Rich Pick. In between horses, Rafiti. Dare to cross is up on the far outside. Velvet Siren and Rich Pick. Rich Pick now gets the lead. Five one exact to forty seven sixty. The try two thirty four forty. Here's Randy Tharps and Rich Pick improving four year old Bay Gelding by chairman of the board out of Rib Tickler. Owned in Worthington by Harry Hart. Trained by Larry Coder. Given a well-judged drive tonight by Randy Tharps, covering that mile in 158. Number five, Rich Pick, the winner of the eighth. Post time at comes the field for tonight's ninth race. Middle leg of the late pick three exact and the trifecta wagering. Number one, Ready Bunny, owned by Bill Sanders. Dallas Miller drives. Two is Straven, owned by Roy Murphy and Darren Mauser. Number three, Come On Tiger, owned by Suzanne Northless and Jerry Summers. And a driver change to Dan Ader. Number four, Name Your Poison, owned by Michael Graney and Laura Samuels. Driver change, Daryl Whitaker. Number five, Pressure, owned by Max Taubert and driver Ron Taubert. Scratch the six, seven is our star lane. Owned by Leonard Buckner and Jeff Fout, eight, Rocky Lover. Owned by Jack and Gertrude Morgan with Jack Morgan, nine, Notorio. Owned by the Paint Creek Farms, David Miller will be in the sulky. Field for the ninth, Dan Ader to drive the three. Daryl Whitaker to drive the four, scratch the six. Tenth and final race, David Myers driving two, T.H. Joe. Field for tonight's ninth race is at the gate and moving through the clubhouse turn. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and pacing. Ready Bunny takes the lead. Straven is next. And there goes our star lane up on the outside. They're down the backstretch. Come on, Tiger. The late lever is Rocky Lover on the far outside. And name your poison pressure. And Notorio will come from the back of the pack. And they're flying to the first turn. Out on top, it's Ready Bunny by two. Straven is second, tucked in there, come on, Tiger third. Our star lane can't make the top. He'll take the fourth in seat, 27-1. Flying past the stands to the half-mile pole. 
Ready Bunny's got the top by two. Straven is second. Come on, Tiger third. Our star lane fourth. Rocky Lover in fifth. Name Your Poison is sixth. Antorio comes to the outside seventh. Pressure rides the tailgate around the clubhouse. Turn to the half mile, Paul. Up top, leading away by an easy length and a half. It's Ready Bunny. Ready Bunny from Straven. Our star lane to the outside. As they hit the half in a sharp 57 and 3. They're out of the turn and down the back stretch. Ready Bunny on top. Here comes our star lane with a rush on the outside to get the lead. Our star lane quickly drives on by Ready Bunny. Moving up on the outside. Rocky Lover Notorious picking him up on the far outside. Straven got caught along the rail. Come on, Tiger. Pressure. And at the end, it's Name Your Poison. Racing by three quarters and a quick 126 and 2. Driving around the far turn. Out on top, it's our star lane. Rocky Lover is in the second. Notorio's got some work to do third as the field straightens away. Our star lane brings them on home. Our star lane, Rocky Lover, Notorio, too little, too late. Deep stretch, it's our star lane. Rocky Lover and Notorio finishing third. Number five, pressure was fourth. Here comes the unofficial winner, number seven, our star lane. Three-year-old Bay Gelding by Log out of My Star Almahurst. Owned in Mount Eaton by Leonard Buckner. Trained by Tom Brinkerhoff. Driven tonight by Jeff Fout to a convincing victory in a lifetime best, 154 and four. Number seven, our star lane, the unofficial winner, and a double tonight for Jeff Fout. Two dollars sixty cents in the try, eight nineteen even. Feel for tonight's tenth and final race is coming out onto the track with Superfecta and Exact the Wagering. From the rail, number one is Trouble with Harry, owned by David Stanley, Suzanne, and Nicholas Allen, driven tonight by Ryan Holton. Number two is T. H. Joe. Owned by Michael Martin with a driver change to David Myers. Three is Dr. Jack. Owned by Bruce Burke, Larry Samuels, Sheldon Sinai, and the Convorkian Stables with David Miller. Number four is Tucson Guy. Owned by Gary Adams, Dave Hawk will be aboard five, Tabitha Circle. Owned by Paul and Janet Huffman with Mike Wilder, six Township, Bubba. Owned by Tom and Dan Ryan, Randy Tharp, seven, Dazzler, Nuke. Owned by driver Elliot Deaton and Steve Morningstar, 8-2-bit die job. Owned by Charles Autry with Jody Essig. 9, Dare to Hum. Owned by James Novak and Mike Ogle with Phil Cunningham. Number 10, Yankee Dragon. Owned by Philip New. Dean Collins will be in the sulky. That's the field for tonight's 10th race. David Myers driving to T.H. Joe. Final race pacers are at the gate and moving through the clubhouse turn. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off in pacing. Tucson Guy takes the lead. Dazzler and Nuke far outside toward the rail. Township Bubba in the third. T.H. Joe away safely fourth. Dr. Jack on the outside. Trouble with Harry sixth. Racing seventh to the turn. Yankee Dragon after that. Tabitha Circle is next. Followed by two bit die job. Long shot. Dare to hum. Superfect the Pacers drive on by the opening quarter in a solid 27 and 4. Past the stands, Dazzler Nuke leads the way. Dazzler Nuke on top, Tucson Guy second, 
Dr. Jack drives up on the outside. Township Bubba will take the fourth inbox, and T.H. Joe will need help from G.I. Joe from here. Here's trouble with Harry Yankee Dragon, both catching the cover of the odds on favorite. Mike Wilder's also out and moving with Tabitha Circle. Getting caught in along the rail, two bit die job ninth. Dare to hum is 10th. They're at the half in 59 and 3. Dr. Jack leaving the ER bids this field an early good night. It's Dr. Jack rowing away on top by three. Dazzler Nuke no match in second. Moving up on the outside, the big horse trouble with Harry third. Followed by Stalker in fourth. Two Sun Guy wide and driving Tabitha Circle. Here's Yankee Dragon trying to go on from the middle of the racetrack. Township Bubba needs racing room far outside. Dare to hum. T.H. Joe and two-bit die job 129. Around the far turn to the top of the stretch. They're into the stretch and Dr. Jack brings them on home. Dr. Jack, Tabitha Circle up on the outside. Dazzler Nuke, Tucson guy. The rest better hurry. Dr. Jack is now under a double purple baby Nelson. Get the turn to get out now. It's Dr. Jack on top, and you call second, third, and fourth.